call and say, how you doing, baby sis? She said, how you doing, baby sis? <laughs> but she had, uh, not, she had insight that you would not believe. And she, I was the babysitter for all of the, all the day. And they were just the most wonderful kids who ever wanted me to deal with. Today, I can deal with these kids. <laughs> but they were wonderful. Now, Michael was questionable. <laughs> but this is the kind of insight she had. Mike was always messing with his sister. And he would do things to her. Toys, her favorite toys. So he must have been really getting on her nerves. So she called me and she said, would you come and get Janie and keep her for a while? I said, you know, Tootsie's having a birthday party. So she could come over for that. So she was sure she wasn't going to lie about it, but she told Mike, she said, you see, Janie's gone. <laughs> so so what did you do to her? I said, that's one of the most important things you're going to have is a sister. And she, Jay came over and she had a good time at the party. And Michael was over there crying because his sister was gone. <laughs> but that's, that's the kind of insight that she had. She knew how to, just like her mother, she knew how to quiet, calm, she knew how to take care of things. And I used to help her. Uh, she loved the computer. So we started working with the computer and I had her on my AOL and I gave her her own thing and she found this Upwards. Oh, she loved that. And she called me and she said, oh, something's wrong with you. Would you help me? And I'm like, sure. Always like her, calm. But she was, she was just so wonderful. There's only one person that would even um, be like her, and that's her mother. You see her there? That's her mother. Sure is. And um, I want to thank you guys because you did a wonderful job. You love your mother. That means you love us too. And we appreciate whatever you guys have been doing. I just keep it up. Oh, uh, my mom is uh, Dolores Walker, and my dad is Robert 
Lee Watson, her brother. So, I mean, we were all a close knit family, but I think I, what I remember most about my childhood was all the ladies and women in our family. My goodness, and thank God, because God didn't really be without them. And they, they raised us, they fed us, they dressed us. We were over somebody's house, it seemed like almost every night. We were over somebody, every day we were over someone else's house, one of our other hands in the house. But they all, you know, I appreciate all of them. And that was very special. I found once found an 1897 pin in her house. I think it was nothing And uh, you know, I didn't know about the value or anything like that. I just thought it was amazing that it was a pin with a pin in here. Uh, I uh, went to my aunt and said, Pat, uh, I found a pin up in the attic. I said, you want it? She said, no, you found it. You found it, baby. Just keep it. Said, okay, thank you. I took it home and gave it to my mom. I don't know what happened to this song now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, this is, a, this is a sweet, sweet, sweet baby. Always has been, always will be. Dad has been, always, never had a problem. I mean, if she had a problem feeding her, she never let us know. We, we, she was like another mother to us. Matter of fact, she probably helped raise my mother, but I, I was told that my, when my mother got saved, she motivated Aunt Pat to get saved. That's right. You know, that was something I just heard just recently. <laughs> but I, I just want to talk about Wayne and Mike and Wayne. I love you guys. I've always loved you guys. Whenever you came by, it was the best time for us. We laughed and laughed the whole time we were there. I just love everything about you guys. I always had. And, and I just want to know, want to talk know that uh, your script is is a big part of this church. Mm -hmm. Your strength is a big part of our family, the Higginbotham family. It's a big part of it. You know, your dad, your dad. Well, oh, I wish I was here with you had dad. I had a lot to say about your dad. Your dad was, woo! <laughs> <laughs> he would be doing stuff, and your dad would come up and just out of nowhere, he'd be standing like five, ten minutes. And we'd go and tell me, I know business, we always work. And he was sitting there watching us. You know, he was, but I mean, and they were, they were just a perfect couple, I think. I think it was a perfect couple. I just want to say I appreciate her life. I appreciate having the time that I was able to spend with her. I, I was in California for 30 years, so I, I didn't see them uh, for a long time, but I, I never the memories of them never leave me. You know, and wasn't there a street called Weldon at one time? Wasn't John Street Weldon at one time? Weldon? That's where y'all lived, right? Yeah. And those were some of the best times, you know, those spit uh, war or spit racing down the gym. <laughs> All of that, but hey, I appreciate you guys, I appreciate your mom, I appreciate your dad, I appreciate the lessons I learned from you.